Welcome to the Academic Social Networking video series. My name is Rachel. We're going over the four platforms we want all faculty of nursing at Chiang Mai University researchers and faculty members to be using. As a reminder, the four platforms are ORCID or ORCID, Google Scholar, ResearchGate, and Academia. Today we'll be talking about ORCID. ORCID is an alphanumeric code which is used to uniquely identify academic authors. What this means is that you get a set of letters and numbers that are just you. It's like a telephone number that works around the world. This helps to reduce con confusion and clarify authors. Uh, so if you change your name for whatever reason, this will help let people know, yes, you are the same author on this paper as you are on this paper, even if your name has changed. Uh, and around the world, we use different names. So it's more common to go by doctor last name in the United States, whereas in Thailand, we go by doctor first name. And so this helps to clarify for differences in name use. Uh, it's similar to something called a digital object identifier or a DOI in that it is unique to each person and it's used by over 7 million people at organizations and institutions around the globe. So it's very well known. Um, so why we should use ORCID or ORCID? It aids in the transition from science to e-science. So this is helping us at the faculty move forward and into the 21st century in terms of our e-science here. Uh, that way, if you use ORCID, you'll have a constantly updated dig digital CV, and so people can easily see the work you've done. Uh, when you are applying for grants, some organizations do require that you have an ORCID, and that way they can easily and quickly identify your work. Um, it's already used by some of the ma major publishing groups, uh, and we, we do publish a number of papers with Elsevier, Springer, and Wiley. Um, we have very close connections with those publishing groups, and so they are already using it, and so this is a way to make us look even better when we publish with them. So uh, we have a sample profile right here. Uh, and as you can see, if you go to someone's profile, you have their name. So this is for Dr. Terry Stone or Teresa Stone. And this is her ORC ID. So the number you see here is Dr. Terry Stone. She is the only person in the world with this number, and you will be the only person in the world with yours. Uh, on your ORCID profile, you have a little employment history. So as you can see, Dr. Stone is with us here at Chiang Mai University as a visiting professor. And then you have a list of publications. So these are uh, different publications. And the publications list does include the DOI. This is separate from your ORCID ID. So this number and this number are not the same. Uh, and so this is the information on an ORCID profile. So to get started and get your own ORCID ID, you go to https colon slash slash ORCID.org. At the top, you'll see a sign in slash register button and just click on that. Um, you can change the language. Unfortunately, Thai language is not available. Um, so you can do this in English or another language if you're comfortable. Once you've clicked on sign in slash register, uh, you'll be given the option to have a personal account or an institutional account. Just leave it on personal account and then click register now. Uh, once you click on register now, you will have this form fill up, fill, come up on your screen, sorry. Uh, enter your name and please use your CMU email as your primary email. So first name, last name, it says optional, but we do ask that you include this information for clarity purposes. And then primary email should be your CMU email address. Uh, this way, you will, your registration will be directly linked to your CMU account, and that way we will know that it's verified. Um, 
If you would like to put in your personal email address, you're welcome to do that in the additional email section. Uh, you, once you submit this information, you will get an email and you'll need to click on the link in the email just to verify that this is in fact your email address. After you've done that, please set your password. Uh, and for your visibility session settings, uh, please click on everyone. We suggest that you do this just to make your profile as visible as possible and that way people can find you and you can find them. Uh, you do not need to click on please send me quarterly emails about features and tips, that's up to you. Please click on I consent to the terms of use, tick I'm not a robot, and then click register and you'll be all set with that. Um, you may need to verify your identity and confirm that you don't already have an ORC ID. So if you are sure that none of the previous ones are you, you can click none of these are me continue with registration. If you're not sure, feel free to click view record. Uh, so this I know for a fact these are not my this is not my name. And so I just click none of these are me continue with registration. Uh, your profile is basically set up on, at this point. Uh, what we do ask is that you add employment. And so this way, again, we will very clearly see that you are affiliated with Chiang Mai University Faculty of Nursing. So at the very top, click on add employment. There's a little plus sign here. And then fill in the information when prompted. So here we have uh, the display organization. What we ask is that you type in Chiang Mai University, again, being very mindful of the spelling, C-H-I-A-N-G-M-A-I, two words, Chiang Mai. Uh, and then this is, it'll have a drop down menu and Chiang Mai University, Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai, Thailand is the very first one there. Click on that one. Uh, Display City should automatically come up as Chiang Mai. Display state region should also come up as Chiang Mai automatically. You don't have to type anything. And then display country should also come up as Thailand. Up here where it says department, please be sure you write faculty of nursing exactly as it's written here. Three words, faculty with a capital F and nursing with a capital N. That way, everyone that's working for the Faculty of Nursing is uniform. It looks the same for everyone. Your role title, uh, you are a faculty member. If you would like to put professor of whatever type of nursing, you're welcome to do that. Uh, if you would like to put that you are an associate professor or assistant professor or lecturer, that's fine too. The URL you don't need to add. Uh, if you have a personal research website, you're welcome to add it here. Uh, if not, you can link to your profile on the Faculty of Nursing website, or you can just leave it blank. The start date, please add your first day of employment with the Faculty of Nursing at Chiang Mai. So if you started in uh, 2019, August 3rd, put that in here. You still work here, so this part you should leave blank because you are still here. And then over here, you'll see a button that says add to list and just click on that and you are all ready to go. If you would like to add any previous employment, so any other places you worked at or any additional places where you're employed, please feel free to add extra employment. Uh, if you would like to add in your education and qualifications, where you got your bachelor's degree, where you got your master's degree, where you got your PhD, please feel free to add that in as well as information on what you studied. Uh, you don't need to go beyond your bachelor's degree. Um, high school information is not relevant here. Uh, invited positions and distinctions, maybe you are a uh, special lecturer or maybe you have an honorary degree, this would be the place to put them here, um, so invited positions or distinctions. If you are a member of any professional organization, so if you are a member of STTI, for example, uh, if you 
are in any sort of member associations, professional ones, feel free to add them here. Uh, if you have a specific funder, someone who gives you grants above and beyond what you receive from the Faculty of Nursing, feel free to add funding information here. And then the one thing that we ask everyone to add in is their works section, so where it says add works. You can use, if something has a DOI, you can type in the DOI. You can use a PubMed ID if you published with PubMed. You can use the search feature and search uh, using the title of your article. Or as a last resort, if you still can't find it, type in the information man manually. In the future, you'll uh, when you publish, the publisher will say, do you have an ORCID ID? And you'll say, yes, I do. And you'll give them your ORCID ID. And now your new works will automatically pop up right on the screen here. It'll be easy. It's great. And that's how you do ORCID. Thank you.